Hey guys, Nick in the States here. Freshly shorn with my summer dew, uh, both an acknowledgement of low maintenance and rapidly disappearing hair. <laughs> um, today I actually want to do a fun little video on uh, on a new Mahafe Hilo Plexi head that I picked up. Um, and we're also going to have some guests playing for my buddy Bubba Z, also known as Danny, um, who's going to tear through it with uh, a little uh, Ivan S. Wah pedal action. Something like this. So what is a hilo plexi? Well, uh, Tris Mahaffey, 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 however you say it, um, makes cool little lamps, um, sells them on eBay, sells them on a site. I've been watching them for a while, um, and I've been kicking around buying one, and what happened was one actually came up used on eBay at a pretty good price. I made an offer, it got accepted, and I ended up buying it. Yay! really cheap i mean sub i think they're like 400 new and i got it for give or take half that um and what the hilo plexi head is is it's a as the name kind of gives off it's a it's kind of a low watt very clean um plexi inspired driven plexi hard tone that, that you have at low volume all the way up to quite quite loud um you know it's a simple head it's got a a, a gain a tone a master on the top um and the gain is high gain from just off the nub at the bottom. So, I mean, it, it doesn't have a lot of clean there. Um, you can clean up a little bit rolling your guitar off and having it down low and maybe jacking the, the master up. But for the most part, this thing just wants to sing. It wants to be that evil 70s uh, and early 80s classic rock kind of tones. Um, on the back of it, you've got a uh, an effects loop. It's a single cable, so you have to use one of those strange adapter Y cables that come out of there. Um, a tip ring, something other. I, maybe I'll put more details down below. Um, has a three-way switch for normal, high, and bright, and it's kind of a progression of gain settings. Um, and then it has a, a foot switch, which I think will drive that. I don't have one of those, so I, I don't know how that works. Um, and then it has a, a line-out, and the line-out is pre-master volume, so that way it's just really the, the gain coming out of that there. And finally, two 8-ohm uh, speaker outputs so that you can drive up to two big old stacks of speakers, uh, which this can do. This thing is loud. Um, here's where it gets interesting though. So, and there's some conjecture for how it works, but what this actually is, is it's a quarter watt tube amp that they then have put a, a, a solid state 33 watt power channel onto. So it has a, a classical preamp tube, a 12AX7, and then it has what, what Mahaffey calls a, a power tube, which is actually a 12 AU7, which is normally um, also a preamp tube. So that gives you your driven plexi-ish tones um, at relatively low watts. If you plug into the line out from there, you're coming right out of that second tube um, post tone, but prior to, to the master volume, so that you can get those you know driven cool plexi tones out of it at, at, at a, a line level. Um, and then the, the solid state kind of boosts it out. Um, and it's it's pretty cool. Uh, let's have a listen. You know, I'll say that the um, the recording we get there, the volume's quite low. I mean, I think it, if if the volume at the zero is at about seven o'clock, that's maybe nine. Um, and it, I mean, I had it at noon or one o'clock at home, and it drove even just a one by twelve. Never mind the two by twelve we recorded this through. And apologies for sound quality. It was an iPhone. It just happened to be uh, jamming over over Bubba's house. So. Um, 
it's it's pretty cool. Um, the nice thing too is it matches my Harley Benton one by twelve cab. We didn't have there, but you can see in this picture, um, goes together nicely. You know how is the the Plexi impersonation? Well, I think it's really serviceable. We played a um, a post phase inverter Masha volume equipped nineteen eighty seven X. I could have that wrong, but uh, Plexi right afterwards, and it definitely has more air to it, I think, but. Um, we still got a lot of tones out of this little guy, and it's very flexible, especially at that volume range. Um, a real plexi back in the day, I mean, Steven Tyler used to scream at Joe Perry that he was making him deaf because you had to run the amp hot. And if you didn't have a power attenuator to uh, to soak up some of that, you just basically were cranking it to get those tones. Um, and this is a neat way, a novel way to get around it. Um, so, but don't let the solid state fool you. It's loud. I mean, you could gig with this thing. Um, and it, it, it maintains its tone. It really sticks to, to what it does. Um, the, um, you know, as, so for potential negatives, um, I did a bunch of research as I've kind of stalked these for a while, and, and Mahafe has just a reputation of being a little slow to get your order out. Uh, I think even on eBay, there's some final assembly or construction that needs to happen, and it may take a little bit longer, perhaps than anticipated. I can't speak from personal experience. I bought this used from somebody, um, but there was a lot of, stuff and a lot of it was older but on like the my Les paul forums and things um that had some opinions there so just do your research on it um the uh the other negative kind of is if you're running single coils in without a noise gate um in between playing it's definitely noisy and it happens to accentuate the single coil buzz um, and they really come through i don't have a noise gate so i wasn't able to try that um but when you do play and this is all these videos here happen to be playing through a wah pedal uh, just because Danny was jamming on it and it's kind of cool to show off uh, with single coil equipped SX uh, Tele. Um, so a little bit more. So anyway, for me, uh, it nails kind of that plexi tone. It's super light, it's super portable, it's kind of funny. Um, but you can show up, you can jam out and rock out. And uh, I like that, and for the price, really, I couldn't, um, I, I can't complain about it. Um, so it'll, it'll stay as a, as a valued member of my little collection. Um, more information down below, link to the Mahafe website. Um, it does some other cool stuff. They also do a, a kit that you just add the speaker to, and it gives you like a Leslie sp spinning speaker. Um, and he actually has some real like players. I think um, Frampton might be one of the guys that, who plays one of his little Linnae amps. And the little Linnae is, from what I've read on the some of the forums, it's pretty much the same circuit as this guy, but in a little tweed and with a built-in six-inch speaker, um, also with a speaker out. So the um, that's what I've got on this little guy, Mahafe Hilo Plexi. Um, you can also order them without the solid state mumbo jumbo so it becomes just a quarter watt all tube amp um, which might be nice for a bedroom playing quiet apartment locations or if you're doing recording with it and really want to get those tones um so uh well uh well bubba gets ready to play us out um i've been nicking the states and obviously i've got issues take care <laughs>